Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on this eye look. Um, I actually posted this eye look on Sunday and I got so much love from you guys. Um, I got a lot of requests to go ahead and make a video on this. So I love getting requests. I love doing videos that you guys want to see um, and that just makes my heart happy. So if you want to see how I got this eye look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's see if I can recreate this look because I hope so. I don't know if it was luck or just the shadows that, yeah. Blech. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can recreate this look. Um, so what I have done is I went ahead and I primed my eyes with my Urban Decay a Primer Potion. Whoops, hello, there you go. <laughs> Um, and then I went ahead and I set it. Now I used my Tarte Clay Play Palette. I used the color Sand to set my eyeshadow primer. You can use any color that you prefer. Um, this is just a kind of cream color for me. Um, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to take our Super Shock, Super Shock Shadow in the color Kennedy, which is this one right here. Um, and we are going to take this and we are going to put this high above our crease. So we're gonna put this way up here. But for a hooded eye, this actually looks normal once you finish the eye look. Um, now, these shadows are can be hard to work with. Um, as far as the shimmer shadows, it's really easy to apply with your finger. Uh, for the mattes, it is a little bit more difficult because you do want to use a brush to blend it. So, um, Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my Morphe uh, M441 and we are going to dive right in. I just need a mirror. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have that all done, nice and blended, we are going to go into our next color, and this is the color Daddy. It is a really, really pretty purple, and we're going to put that above the crease as well, but we're not going to go as high, because you definitely want some of this uh, Kennedy to show. And in doing so, I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush. Now I'm going to go back in with my M441 and we're going to go take a little bit more of Kennedy and we're going to blend out those edges. So you should have something like this. 
that way where you open your eyes you can definitely still see plenty of the purple and then the orange on top just barely peeking out um, now we're going to go into the last color for the lid and this is the color uh, banana daiquiri this color is so gorgeous now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take our finger and we're gonna put this along the lid but we're not just gonna leave it there if you open your eye, if I well if I open my eye I actually have to take it just above where that line is right here and I have to make sure that it shows on that line so when I open my eyes it doesn't just look like the color has been sucked into my eyeball it actually you can still see it as it is it it creates a perfect transition into my eye And then when I put it over that purple, it also gives me that bluish color. It definitely makes it look more blended. So you can see when I open my eye, you can still see uh, the banana daiquiri when I open my eye. So this should be what you have so far looking really 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 good the thing I love about these shadows is they practically blend themselves so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead or do my foundation and my eyebrows and I will be right back alrighty I am back yes so I am going to take a angled shader brush and we are going to take the color Kennedy again and we are going to put that um, along our waterline and just right on our lower lash line. Alright, this is going to look something like that. Excuse me, my eyes get really, really watery at this point. All right, so now I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This one is just from Wet n Wild, and we're going to go back into our banana daiquiri, this color right here, and we are going to put that underneath the purple. brush go oh 
All right, so I'm just gonna go in with a little pencil brush. Um, you can use any color at this point that is kind of light and sparkly and put that in our inner corner. So I was really digging this shade. So I went ahead and put that on our brow bone highlight as well. All right. So the blush that I like to use with this color, this color goes with a lot of different looks. I really, really enjoy this. Um, this is the Tarte Exposed Blush, and it is a beautiful blush. Um, and we are just going to apply that along the cheeks. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, so the highlighter that I use for this look, and I think it is perfect because we are dealing with purples and blues, um, is from Becca, and this is their, what is it? Their Amethyst Highlighter. This color is gorgeous. So, and we are going to apply this. So we are definitely going to get our highlight on. Oh, look how pretty that is. Love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, going to go in with some Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm going to pop this on real fast, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what we have. Everything is looking really, really nice. Obviously, you see why I like this mascara. It is beautiful. So the last step, I actually don't do a lipstick with this look. I do a lip gloss. Much easier on the lips, and it's just a beautiful lip gloss. This is from the new Kathleen Lights, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collection. It is in the color Moonchild Eye love this lip gloss it has these little tiny tiny uh like shimmers in it and it's just beautiful I did it <laughs> um hey y'all be nice all right guys so this is the completed look I hope you guys really like this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below you can also hit that little notification bell so you can be aware of any future videos that I have um, you can follow me on Instagram as well and I will have that link down below and I will see you guys on my next video bye